Hello and welcome to Privash Whiskey Flur. Today I'm gonna tie a little version, another version of my own pattern from Fighter. Uh, I posted that uh, video on my YouTube channel uh, years ago and I still use this pattern. But now it's time to reintroduce it uh, and uh, fix a little bit on it. So I'm gonna add some other items to this fly. Okay, to start off, I just uh, put on uh, hook 10 in the vise. And I'm gonna present for you uh, the main material on this fly is foam. This is a foam uh, piece that I've uh, used this tool from River Road Cutters and just uh, cut out a piece of this foam. Uh, this is a tan foam. It's gonna all uh, come in the video what materials I've been using. Okay. To start off with this, I have to put on my glasses, like this, <laughs> and uh, use my tying thread, just an ordinary tying thread, size uh, 8 -0. Attach it to the hook, like this. And uh, I'm gonna take some small piece of tan dubbing on this. And uh, before I do that, I take some little super glue onto the hook with a little brush, it's very handy. Got this. I used this before I take on the to the to the foam. Like that. Use a little what can I say underbody of foam. Sorry, sorry <laughs> the with dubbing. <laughs> I mix up sometimes. Okay, well, wind back and take your foam piece. Before I put this onto the hook, I just use my lighter and just clear out the sharp edges. And you can also twist on it a little bit to make it uh, more narrow. It's not always the pattern that comes with the river oak cutters is the exact pattern you want but you have to tweak it a little bit and I continue with the, with, with the tweaking use the light the flame just to like that all right and put it onto the hook let it extend back a little bit of the hook hook band and like that so then the wind forwards like this you see now I make some segmentations and now I take the thread all the way to the hook eye and tie down and the last bubble is gonna be tied down like this right now I gotta put on some flash and I have to I just have to take some crystal flash second two or three strands of this to make the underwing just have to Double it over the thread like this and just attach it and use your scissor and snip it off like that. It's gonna make a bit shine to this fly. And so you take your make your deer hair wing. I have this uh, patch of deer hair and use my fingers and just pick out a little piece some hairs like that you don't have to stack this because uh, this is gonna be um, 
Caddis fly. So you don't the wings don't have to be even. But you have to be so long that it extends over the body. So I take my scissor and just snip it off and measure out how long this looks like just the right just the right length tie it down like this and you can now take your dubbing start with the front and go backwards like that have some more like that now the new item is gonna go on I make a dubbing loop close the loop and I take my hackle material guard and try to put this onto this and find my dubbing spinner like this put it into the loop and now I take my now I want this the hair stacker just make it ready and take my patch of deer hair and take a piece some hairs snip it off I don't want to have too much hairs onto this loop so I just preen out the fibers I don't want and take this little bunch of hair and put it into the stacker some tappings and now before I put the hairs into the dubbing loop I want it to stick a little bit better so I check this ski wax and then use that on to the threads that contains the loop so it will stick there okay this is a trick uh, very tip uh, ski wax very cheap it's not a uh, <laughs> fly tying material but you can use it, use it it will do the job for you and now you take your like this and I have to have some paper clips see sorry about the disturbance of the camera I have two of those and I'm gonna show you what to do with this and you see now the hairs are just the same length take your one clip and collect these fibers put that hair stacker away and transfer it to this other and now you can see you have these points how long do I want these legs to be it's about that so I take transfer it again like that release it and now we can cut off all these long stumps do that from this side so on now we have this short stumps and now I take my release my dubbing loop and I put this hairs onto the loop be sure it's not two long stumps sticking out and I just spin my dubbing twister and transfer this to the hair as you can see transfer it and be sure now just to don't catch too much of the wing I already 
manage to do this so I take my hair sorry my toothbrush and release this in a simple manner like that um, it still continues to catch the wing but now I'm getting rid of that and I want this you see this dubbing loop is very long so I want a little uh, clip to make this stay there so I have to find this little uh, clip of mine or just to keep it in my hands I take this hackle plier from uh, CF design and just place it there like that be sure that it sticks and just snip off this long piece and now I take wind it around but before I do that, do that I just change my thread to another location you see now I just lost this clip this is not good but I continue like that and you take take the thread that you have used in front and you tie off this dubbing loop like that it's a bit fiddly because I didn't have the right clip but that's okay now you can cut off this rest of this dubbing loop thread like that and you can now take your hairs take it backwards and change the fly tying thread in front of this uh, rest of this foam and use your whip finish tool to make a whip finish Could we finish two or three rounds like that? Now we have it. Let's snip it off. Move the thread to safe, safe locations and cut off this. Now you can take, use your fingers to make this look very buggy. and take the underside of this and snip it off you don't want too much hairs, legs coming out from the underside you want it out to the side and upwards because if it sticks too much on the other side it will interfere with the way this fly works onto the water use that see these very buggy looking flies coming to um, to life some of those hairs will mix with the wing but that's all right well there you have it the foam fighter with their hair wings and their hair legs it floats like a charm fishes like uh, nobody else uh, I've used this fly for uh, several years now it has produced all my largest trout so uh, well that's the new version of this fly and uh, I want to thank you all for uh, taking time to watch my videos and uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and will always get the latest videos from me so thank you all and bye bye tight lines <laughs>